Hey, good morning. Welcome back. So if you like 3D street art, the kind where you can interact with, then you're going to like this video. Uh, I'm in downtown Clearwater. Uh, this is December 11th, I believe. And I'm one of three artists doing some 3D street art down here. And it's for their Christmas extravaganza event. Uh, they're going to have an art walk where a bunch of a group of people are going to come by and check out all three of us uh, in our artwork. So I'm at the uh, library right now. You can see it behind me, this massive structure. Anyways, I'm doing uh, 3D Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. So you're going to be able to sit on his back, kind of interact with him for photos. And this is my spot right here. So if you like 3D street painting, then stay tuned and see how this is done. So my first step in this process is drawing out a grid. On the computer, I take my image and I place a grid over top of it in Photoshop. And then I stretch it. And that's a whole different story. If you want to see the process, uh, leave me a comment. If you want to see how it's set up, and maybe I'll do a separate video for that. But right now, what I've done, my first step is drawing, uh, lining out all this pavement with these uh, lengths of string. And what I'm doing is you see the square right here. This is two foot by two foot. And on my image, I have one inch by one inch, basically. So that's just a good way to keep the proportions uh, correct and looking right. So this is my first step. I got all the rope lined out. This is 25 foot long by 12 foot wide. And now what I'll do is I'll take my sample image and basically I'll draw all of my all of my outlines where they match up in each individual square from my reference image to here so hopefully that makes sense um, kind of hard to explain but I'm gonna get started and I'm gonna set the camera up and just kind of do a time-lapse all right so uh, I got my grid set up this is the first step of the process um, I'm gonna try to show you my sample image here uh, hopefully there's not a whole lot of a glare on here but anyways uh, this is what the final image will look like. Hopefully you can see that. Got Rudolph on a little platform here with some snow. Scarf around his neck. And what's going to happen is people are going to be able to sit right here on his back. So it looks like you're sitting on him like a horse, basically. Alright. And then here is the way I have to, to draw it. So right now, these are one foot. These represent one foot by one foot squares, right? So instead of doing one foot by one foot, I went ahead and did two foot by two foot squares. So I have all this string lined out. Two foot, 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 right? So now, I'm just, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to match what I see here and match it and put it in, into these squares. So everywhere my reindeer crosses one of these squares, I have to represent that in the, in the corresponding square on the ground. So this is all my string grid layout. Once I get my outline drawn and everything placed correctly, then I'll go ahead and remove this string and then I'll start filling in colors. So I'm going to do that now and then I'll pick up where I, where I leave off. So I got my outline done, just matched what I saw in my reference image right here on the ground. Now this is going to look really stretched out because the farther away from your viewing point you get, the wider and bigger your image has to be stretched. So it's maybe a little difficult to see because of the sun. It's really bright out here right now, but you can kind of see from above how really stretched out and weird everything looks. So I just did a basic thin light black outline. That's just gonna give me a guide of where to go. Now I can fill in fill in the colors, but you can see from this side, uh, it really kind of takes shape.
right, so I finished up right in time before this shadow creeps and goes right through the piece. So this is it. I was going to do a platform on the bottom. They stand on with his name, but I decided because of that shadow was creeping over, I better at least just get something down here. So I just did some snow with some shadowing effects. That's it. So GoPro died, so I was unable to get the last little bits of detail. As you can see, it's got some fur texture, got some highlights, lowlights, everything in here. So it's pretty much complete. So pretty satisfied with this one. So if you have any questions uh, about this process that might not have been covered, I'm sure I forgot a bunch of stuff. Uh, please leave me a couple comments and I'll do my best to answer them. And if you really want to see how this process is done before I even start painting on the computer, uh, maybe I can make a video of that. Just let me know down below and um, we'll go from there. So thanks for watching. I'll have some more of these 3D pieces coming up. So like and subscribe and I'll see you later. Merry Christmas.